What's up everyone? Uh, AJ here again um, with another ProtoPie tip. Uh, today I'm just going to show you how to, when you have a text input on, the, um, on your screen, how to push it up when you toggle it. Um, so, you know, we can't really see what we're typing, right? So how, how do we, how do we raise that so we can see it? So in order to do that, you got to add a trigger. Um, first of all, let me just start over. I'm just going to actually add an input for those who don't know how to do that, which is fine. I'm gonna bring this down to here. I'm going to come down here, go to this, some styling stuff. I'm going to make it, uh, let's make, oh, just kidding. That's the text. Whoops. Text, uh, just make it white. Uh, yeah, let's make it white. Center in the middle, placeholder text, white. Get rid of the border, hate borders. Let's make the fill color pink. Mm. All right, cool. 50% opacity, 20. All right, so now we have our button, okay? Um, and the issue, like I said, can't see it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head on over, let's name this input, okay? Head over to the add trigger, um, and you're gonna have a, you know, a bunch of animations like we talked about, but you had two that, that say um, for input particular, particularly, right? So we're gonna do focus, right? So focus means when you enter, when you click, okay? We're gonna do this set of commands, okay? So we're gonna move. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna take the input, and we're gonna move it up the y-axis. Uh, let's see what happens when we add, move it up 200. Okay, that's way too much. Let's do 50. Okay, so we gotta go uh, 400. And it's probably gonna be like 600 actually. Nope. <laughs> 400. That's probably right. Yep. 400 is good. All right. So we added this move on focus, which means once we click into the text input, um, we're then going to move this text input up um, to 400 on the Y axis, which is probably around here. So when we click this, it, um, when we click this, it, it, it moves up and, and we can then see what we're typing, right? Awesome. Okay. Now, how do we now how do we reset it, right? So, what we can do is we can add a trigger that states return. Okay. So what this means is when I click return, as in enter, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna reset. Where's the reset? I'm going to reset this whole scene, current scene. I'm, actually, I'm going to reset input. Okay. Right. So this should work. So this means that if I go up here and I go like this, I click return, it then resets it. So you have this nice little animation for when you're trying to type and then clicking enter resets everything. Um, so